isang magandang buhay para sa atin lahat. Now, we'll continue our lessons. So, we have here the distance formula. So, this equation used to find the distance between two points given their coordinates. So, doon mo makikita yung distance na yun. So, between two points. Okay, for example, yan, di ba? So, yan yung mga point. So, makita mo yan, di ba? Yan yung mga distance nila. Yan, example pa ulit. Di ba? Yan. So, to cal calculate any line segment if you know the coordinates of the two end point. So, makikita mo yung distance yan. Di ba? Okay, paano ba gagawin? Yan. So, we have here x and y. Yan, di ba? So, through here, yan, using this one, di ba? Right triangle and then hypothesis yan. Di ba? Okay. So, masosolve natin yan. Okay, next one. Next. Y1, X2, and Y2. Yun yung mga point. So, the distance formula using the Pythagorean theorem. Ayan, di ba? Yun ang ginamit. Okay. So, we have here. Ayan. So, X2 minus X1 is the change in X. While for the Y2 minus Y1 is change in Y. Ayan. So, these are the formula. Ayan. Ang gagamitin sa distance formula. Try natin gamitin. Okay, so we have here two points given. That's 1 and 3 and then 7 and 6. So, di ba? So, here is the distance formula. Substitute natin. So, this will be your x mo 1 x2 Diba? Y1 Y2 so, Substitute lang natin yan Ayan, di ba? 7 minus 1 2 6 minus 3 Okay, di ba? So, you have here I squared mo siya So, makukuha natin sagot dyan ay 6.7085 So, that will be the distance between the, these two points Dalawa na yan Okay Next, we have here, and so same formula, substitute lang natin, so nakita mo diba, ito yung x1, x2, y1, y2. Ayan. Substitute lang uli natin doon sa formula. So, pag substitute mo, you get the value of 12.369. So, that is, or probably 12.37. Pwede rin yun. So, that is the distance formula. I hope na naintindihan nyo yung ating lecture. And then, mag-upload po ako yun ng panibagong state work for that le lecture for the distance formula. Maraming salamat sa pakikinig. Ciao!